DRDO is developing a family of anti-radiation and long-range air-to-ground standoff missiles ARM called Rudram. The first missile in the series is Rudram-1 with a range of 200 km and the missile has already been integrated with Su-30 MKI of Indian Air Force. In November 2022, it was reported that Air Force has moved a proposal worth Rs. 1400 crore to the government for acquiring Rudram next generation anti-radiation missiles. The second missile in this family is Rudram-2, which is a hypersonic aero-ballistic missile with a range of 50 to 300 km. It is integrated with dual seeker, which are imaging infrared IIR seeker and passive homing head seekers. Now, this missile can not only destroy enemy radars, but can also target enemy bunkers, air bases, arms and ammunition depots, aircraft hangars, etc. On 29th May 2024, DRDO has successfully flight tested the Rudram 2 from Su-30 MKI platform of Indian Air Force. The development of Rudram 2 is at very advanced stage and is expected to complete soon. Now the third missile in this category is Rudram 3, which has not been reported to be tested. The missile is going to be two-stage missile like Russian Kinzhal. The first stage will be a booster stage and second stage is a dual pulsed motor. The missile will weigh close to 600 to 700 kg with a warhead of 200 kg and a massive range of 550 km. The missile will have 16 control surfaces which will make it highly maneuverable. It has 8 control surfaces in the mid section and another 8 in the tail end. The fixed wind in the mid section of the missile will help it to achieve the hypersonic speed. The missile will use INS GPS satellite guidance along with inertial navigation systems for the mid course guidance. It will have the circular probability of close to 4 meter. The missile will follow Cauchy ballistic trajectory and will hit target with hypersonic velocity. The HLS Nasik division is commencing the work on the modification of Su-30 MK aircraft which will be the launch platform for the Rudram-3 missile. The Su-30 MK aircraft being modified for Rudram-3 trial has earlier been used to test Astra and Rudram-1 missiles. The station number 5 and 6 of Su-30 MKI will be modified for trials of this missile. The fighter jet will also be integrated with CAM 500 data acquisition system for collecting the test related information. In June 2024, it has also been reported that a private firm is supplying the empty PCB warhead assay for Rudram 3 to DRDO. Now, this indicates that Rudram 3 missile is also at very advanced stage of development and the trials of this missile can be expected very soon. The Rudram 3 missile will have a higher speed and warhead payload than the air launched from host missile. So this missile will be easily able to destroy the Pakistan and Chinese surface to air missile defense system along the borders and also deep inside the borders by staying well within the Indian boundary. Rudram 3 will massively boost the deep penetration strike capability of Air Force. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.